on the Virginia Tech campus on the second day of spring in 2017 and we're looking at an Austrian pine that has a disease called Diplodia tiplite and it's a very appropriate time to be out here looking at this disease because this is the time of year when the fungus that causes the disease starts to produce its spores and cause new infections. Fungus is producing its spores on these dead shoot tips. So the fungus will infect through the shoot tips and kill back the shoot tips. It often infects at the base of the needles. And so you'll see uh, needles that got infected at different points in time, achieving different lengths. So you'll see long dead needles and a lot of stunted dead needles. This disease can pretty easily be diagnosed by the overall symptoms of the individual shoot, shoot tips dying back and the kind of the club-shaped um, shoot tips. But you can also be pretty sure of your diagnosis if you pull out some of these needles and you look down at the base of the needle and if you see some little black dots, those are fruiting bodies of the fungus. That's where the fungus produces its spores and that's where the new spores are coming from this spring to cause new infections. But this whole shoot tip is killed back. You may get a new bud coming out and then that shoot tip gets killed back as well. Those dead shoot tips are gonna be scattered in the tree. You can see there are some healthy uh, shoots around this dead shoot but you can get quite a bit of this dieback, especially in the lower part of the tree and then moving up the tree. The fungus infects mainly two and three needle pines. So pines are identified partly by the number of needles they have in what's called a fascicle. And we can look at this needle here. These two needles are bound together by a fascicle at the base and there are two needles per fascicle. This is an Austrian pine. And there are several other species of, of two and three needle pines, many of which are um, introduced species, so they're not native to this country and they're more susceptible to this disease. We don't see this disease in the forest, but we see it in landscapes in these two and three needle pines. And it can be quite severe. Normally it won't infect the branches, but if the tree is very stressed, the fungus can also infect the branches and you'll get anchors with resin flow on the bark. This disease is difficult to control once it gets out of control on these trees. But in the early stages, you can spray a fungicide in the springtime when the new growth is first emerging because that's when the needles are infected. And then uh, again, a little bit later when the shoots are about two thirds of their full length. And that will protect the new needles. Pruning out the affected shoot tips below the infection, below where you see the brown needles, uh, will also help to remove the inoculum for new infections. You will want to disinfest your pruning tools between cuts in denatured alcohol for three to five minutes. The, the fungus overwinters on the dead needles that drop to the ground and can spread from those needles. So removing those needles can also help. There will be more infections in wet springs which are conducive to spore formation and spread.